Hi, this is Claude Billy here with 24 7 Online Marketing, and in this video, I want to share with you um, seven steps to help you get more leads. So, if you're a business owner and you are suffering uh, or, or challenged with getting enough leads to your business um, so that you can actually get the revenue that you desire, um, there's some things that I typically do for a first time client. Um, whenever I'm interviewing or having a, a sit down um, consultation with a the client, there's, I'm going to share with you seven foundational questions that I ask every private consultant client that comes uh, my way. And I found out, through my experience of doing this for about uh, nine years now, that when these seven things are uh, implemented properly, then typically you will end up getting a um, significant amount of leads from the internet just based upon free organic traffic. So let me just grab my marker, and if you want to, excuse me, put off screen there, but if you want to gra uh, grab a pen and paper and write these things down, um, you can do so as well. So, But before I forget, I just want to remind you, um, sorry, it looks like I'm going out of focus here, but it'll come back into focus as soon as I get, there you go. Um, I just want to remind you that um, you can get all this information I'm about to share with you, even in more details, if you just go to 7, the number 7, 7stepseo.com. Just log in. Um, if you don't have an account with me already, then you can just create a, uh, a free account with me. Um, just keep providing me with your, your name, email address, and if you want to, uh, you can provide me with your website address. The reason why I ask for your website address when you go there is sometimes some people just might be wanting to just actually just look at the website and give them some free pointers. And I'm willing to do that if you leave me your website. I'll go to your website, leave you some free pointers. I might even go through the seven steps myself and uh, give you some comments based upon what I found from the seven steps. And maybe something else I might have found from the website that not a part of seven steps I think might help you um, achieve more than what you're achieving currently. So, Let's just get right into it. So what I want to start off with first, the first thing I usually ask myself or I ask for private consult client is actually, do you actually have a website? Now hopefully by now it is 2019 and most people that have a business should have some sort of website. Now your website does not need to be fancy, does not need to be sophisticated, does not to be all flashy. It has to be able to cover some basic things, right? So I'm going to cover that in step one. If you do have a website, the website should cover some basic um, SEO principles, some basic content that should be on there. Some basic content that you actually want to have on there is the number one thing you want to have or we'll start is, is you want to have a, a, a call to action. You want to have a call to action on your website. And what I mean by that is that you at least want to have, you want to tell them specifically what you want them to do next. So let's say you are a barbershop or a hair salon, or maybe you're a, a dentist or a doctor, right, you're in a separate service industry, and when you actually want to book appointments, you basically want them to say, hey, call net, call this number to schedule an appointment, or call this number for 15 minutes to schedule a 15 minute consultation, or call this number to, to check for our availability, or call this number for more questions and more information, and to see if we can help you, something of that nature. Or if you, if you want to be real sophisticated with your schedule, you can say, Click here to schedule an appointment with us, right? That's a clear call to action, and you want that to be in the top fold of your website. Ideally, what you want to do, that, so if this page right here is representing your website, what you want to do is actually put the call to action up here in the top right-hand corner so it's very visible um, for the viewer, right? You want it to be up top. You don't want it to be down here because sometimes it might even scroll down here, but you definitely want that to be up top. Now, the next thing you really want to have in your content on your website is that you want to have your website should show, I'm just going to show or describe, I'm going to cut that short, a benefit. You want to be able to show or describe a benefit. In a lot of ways you can do that. You can do that through a video. You can have a video on your website showing Basically, let's say, let's put it this way. A good way to describe a benefit for someone is to show a before and after picture. Weight loss, um, health health and fitness, real easy for them to do. You show a, a testimony with somebody that's, you know, overweight, and then you show them after they use your product what they look like now, you know, they lost 20 pounds, right? Whatever that may be. Or if you're a dentist, you show somebody with crooked teeth, and then after, you know, you finish with them, you show them with, you know, straight teeth. You know, or if you're a general dentist, you show them with, you know, unhealthy gums, and then you show them with healthy gums, right? You know, if you're a barbershop, you show somebody before they get a haircut, or you show some, and then you show somebody after a haircut. So that's a real clear way of showing a benefit uh, for someone doing business with you. So that's what you want to kind of describe or show. Um, you can do both. Um, if you can do it all in text, 
You just say, you know, this is our benefit. You know, we're a barbershop, and what we do is give you nice-looking haircuts, right? But ideally, you want to show them a picture because it, pictures speak how many words? That's right. The saying says a thousand words. So you want to make sure you try to show a picture of the benefit of what they're going to uh, receive, all right? And then those two things you want to have. Obviously, you want to have a couple other things on the website. I go that in more detail because I don't want to make this video extremely long and too technical and bore you. But I just want to give you some basic general information. Once again, if you want to get more detail, I'll give you more detail in 7stepseo.com. All you got to do, if you're not already a member uh, with me, one of my private social classes, you can just actually go to 7stepseo.com, uh, provide your name and your email address, and then uh, provide me your website. If you want to, you don't have to. The only reason why you would provide your website if you actually want me to go and look at your website and give you some pointers based on what I see. And there's no obligation if I give you those pointers as well, just, just letting you know. So uh, go to 7stepseo.com. You also get a checklist of how to check all these things out. And also it comes with um, um, seven videos that are going to correspond to the seven things I want to give you right now. So so then you say you have a website, which is number one. So that's number two. So number two is you want to make sure that this website... Um, Loads fast. Okay, so the rule of thumb is that basically you want to be able, ideally, you want to have a website load within less than three seconds. What I mean by that, I want to say fully loading less than three seconds, but it doesn't have to necessarily be fully loading. But you want to at least have 75 to 85 percent of your website loaded in under three seconds because if you don't, what's going to happen is the viewer is going to click off your website, it's going to leave because it's taking too long. They don't take something wrong with the internet, something's wrong with your website, whatever. Excuse me. And they're going to just leave and take off. So what you want to do is make sure your website loads fast. And ideally, you know, you want it to be less than three seconds. But if you if if it takes you around five seconds, that's fine as well. But this is kind of the mark, less than three seconds. This is still kind of good. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this uh, looks up pretty good. So you kind of want to make sure that. Um, you kind of load your website real fast. Okay, the next thing you want to make sure you do is um, you want to make sure your website is mobile friendly. All right, obviously Google has made it quite known for some time now that they're only going to really promote businesses that have a mobile friendly website because a lot of times people have their smartphones and they're checking um, things on their smartphone now. So you want to make sure you have a mobile friendly website. Um, and if you don't know if you have a mobile friendly website, it's an easy way for you to test. You can actually go on to Google and go into the search uh, field and type in uh, Google mobile friendly test. And then you type in your website, you go there, you click on the link, and you type in you type in your website, and then it'll actually will scan your website to see if it actually meets the Google mobile friendly test. And if it meets it, it'll give you a check and say, yes, you pass. Your, your website is considered uh, mobile friendly by Google standards. And if it's not, it's going to give you some tips and pointers on how to do that. Now, once again, if you go to 7stepseo.com, Provide your login, you know, provide your name and uh, user. I mean, provide your name and your email address. And uh, if you want to, you can also provide your website. And I can kind of check your website out too as well, if you like. But if you don't, don't wait. No big deal. Once you do that, you'll get sent your login credentials, and then you'll be able to access the member access area. It's going to give you the seven steps listed out. It's also going to give you um, the videos that correspond to each seven step. It's also going to give you the resources and links that you need to click on to actually check these things out. If you're not, if you're unsure. If you actually meet some of these criteria right now, so that's number three. Uh, number four, secure. And what I mean by that, you need to make sure you have a secure website. Um, and what I mean by that is that basically you need to make sure that your website is kind of like a vault, right? So information that people put in, you don't want the information that necessarily easily to come out to be extracted by somebody else, to be extract extracted by somebody that's trying to do some evil things and get people's personal financial information. Um, even if you do not, even if you're on your website, you're not actually collecting financial information, but let's say you're collecting just an email just for a newsletter, Google has already made it known that they actually want to make sure that your website is still secure. And what do you mean by secure? So if you look in your, in your uh, URL, you should have this thing that says HTTPS. So there's a difference. This is secure. The S stands for secure. And if you don't have the S, then it's just an HTTP. And if it's just an HTTP, Google, from a search engine uh, uh, listing perspective, is going to look at your website and say, oh, you know what? They're not secure. I don't really want to send my customers, my consumers, the viewers that are searching for stuff about your business or business like yours. I don't want to put you up on my first page because I'm not quite sure that, you're, you know, that the information you're 
the data information that they're going to provide you is going to be kept private and going to be secure. So you definitely want to make sure that that is um, uh, HTTPS. And a lot of now times, a lot of the different hosting companies um, will give you an ability to have a secure website easily for free. A lot of times it's already included in your package or it might just be a small upcharge. Uh, so it's not really that, that um, big of a deal. And once again, um, to check to see if your website is secure, if you're not too familiar with it, like usually if you go to the Google um, search engine bar at the top of your, your search engine uh, window, you'll see a, a lock symbol. And if you don't see that lock symbol, it means it's not secure. If you see the lock symbol, it means the website is secure. At least it's being recognized as being secure. Right. So I go in detail more uh, how you can actually check to make sure that your website is secure. Once again, it's 7 step -seo .com. Um Just go there. Let me just write you down on the top here for you guys. So if you just go to 7 step -seo.com, uh provide some your name and your email address, I will automatically send you out the login credentials to the, the, the access, remember access area, to get the, the, the checklist and the corresponding videos for each one of these seven things I'm about to uh, give you right now. It's totally free, no obligation, and if you want to grab me with your website when you log, uh, when you send your credentials, you can. I'll take a look at your website. I'll actually go through the seven step checklist as well for you, and I'll leave you some comments, and then I'll send that directly to you in the email. That way you have some, you know, you, you get some tips from me as well. So that's what I want to do for you, because I know that this right here, if you, if you knock this out, the rest of your marketing becomes a lot easier. A lot, you know, so, Definitely want you to hit these seven steps I'm going through right now. So, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Now, the fifth one here, uh, I'm not necessarily going in any order, but the fifth one here that we want to go through is this to make sure that your um, oh that you have submitted a site map. Almost forgot. You want to make sure you submit a site map to the search engines. What a site map does is a site map allows you. To tell the search engines how to categorize your website, right? So if you're in a dental in dental industry, for instance, and let's say you know you you're uh, a general dentist, but you do teeth cleaning, you do teeth whitening, so you got pages separated by just general um, gum disease, potentially uh, whitening of teeth, right? And, uh, and you got some general tips, so you might just tell you just tell the search engines how your website is categorized, how they can follow through through your website, and so that's uh, what they need. It makes it a lot easier for them once you tell them how to categorize your website because otherwise they got to figure it out. And when they got to figure it out, it means it's going to take time. And when it takes time for them to figure things out, they means they're not going to list your website, you know, on the first page of search results immediately. It's going to take a lot of time. But if you give them this site map and tell them how it's categorized, then they can categorize your website and then they can start listing it, uh, you know, fairly quick. I'm not sure how long it takes. No one knows that real number, but it's going it to take, it will take a lot, it'll be a lot quicker if you give them a site map. Um, than it would be if you, if you did not have a site map. And in the same long lines, we're going to go to number six. Number six is index. You also got to make sure that your that their website is indexed. And what that means, you provide a site map, but index means that actually that you're telling Google that, hey, this is kind of almost in the same step. You're telling Google, hey, I got a website up, um, Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Here's a website name. Here it is. This is where it's located. Um, please index it. Please start looking at it and start categorizing it. Oh, and by the way, I'm also going to send you this site map so you know exactly how to categorize it so you can quickly get start listening it, you know, in your search results. So that's right here, six steps. Now, so this is all what I call on-page or off-page off uh, type of uh, SEO uh, website um, uh, marketing right here. But this last thing I like to call is really, 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 really important. Because it's also part of SEO strategy, but it's a very key SEO strategy. Now, before I tell you exactly what it is, I just want to just let you know. Your main goal of getting leads is to be able to position yourself, your business, your business information, everywhere that your ideal customer is going to be searching for a business like yours. Right? Do you agree with me on that one? So if you do... This last step right here, this is all good and dandy and everything, right? But people search on other websites looking for a business like yours. I'll give you a prime example. In the um, um, in the restaurant industry, right? People don't necessarily always go straight to Google on their desktop. They might actually go to their Google Maps and say, 
Find a restaurant near me. Find a you know Mediterranean restaurant near me. Find a soul food restaurant near me. Find a pizza restaurant near me. Find a hamburger restaurant near me. Right. Find an ice cream parlor near me. They're gonna they're gonna type that stuff in. Even if you're a dentist or a doctor, find a doctor near me. Find a dentist near me. Right. Find a chiropractor near me. You know, find a, mas a masseuse near me. Right. It's all those type of things like that. Find you know a hardware store near me. It doesn't matter. Find a hotel near me because I've got in laws and, and family members and cousins and stuff coming to town. Where's the closest hotel so I can tell them where to stay? Right. So they're not just searching on Google. They're searching on maps right on their phone. Those types of things. Um, and so what you need to do is make sure that there are other searches out there besides Google, Yahoo, and Bing. And yes, there are the biggest three, but you have other ones like Yelp, Merchant Circle, Foursquare. You know, um, we got Facebook now. Um, it's, it's, it's actually listing businesses nowadays. You even have something called Google My Business, which is part of Google, but it's also kind of its own social network as well. You know, and then you got these other different sites. There's so many different sites. There's over 60 sites. I can't name them all, right? You even have Apple Maps. So you got to make sure you listen to Apple Maps. You got the, you got the uh, GPS systems, right? GPS, they need to know where your address is. So when people type that stuff in, they need to be able to find you. And if you don't tell them, that they're going to actually go out there and try to find your business for you and pull information from wherever they think they can pull information from. It could be from, you know, the government websites. It could be, excuse me. It could be from, um, it could be from anywhere. Anywhere you might put information out there about you. They're going to public information. They're going to pull all these different public information sites and try to find out where your business is actually located, right? And provide your business information on their website because they want people to use their service to find businesses. And that's why it comes to a win-win situation. So the seventh step is that we want to make sure that your business information is accurately listed. Accurately listed. Sorry for my rough handwriting. It's accurately listed everywhere a business is searching for, I mean, everywhere a person searches for a business like yours, right? There's over 60 different types of websites out there. You know, their business, their business websites, you know, their uh, club member websites, their organization member websites, right? They're all kind of networking websites, the social media sites, social networking sites. There's a bunch of them out there. There's over 60. It's probably more. It all depends on your industry, uh, more or less. Um, so what we want to do is make sure that your business information is accurately listed on all these different websites. And if they're not listed on all these different websites accurately, what you're going to do is going to cause confusion for not only the search engines because Google, Yahoo, and Bing, they look at these other websites. And these other websites look at Google. So they, they have a disconnect. They're not matching up. They was hey, man, I don't know where this guy's located. You know, this restaurant, it says he's at 123 Beacon Street, but I go check out this other website, and it says at 555, you know, Rehearsal Street. Where is he located? Or his telephone number on this website says it's you know it's one 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 two 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 two, and then I go to a different website it says it's five 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 six seven six seven. Which phone number is correct, right? I don't know. I'm confused. And if the searchers are confused, what they're going to do? If like any person's confused, if they're confused, they're going to do the same thing. They're not going to list you on their search results because they're confused, and they don't want to give their consumer those searching on their website. They don't want to give them bad information because it looks bad on Google, it looks bad on Yahoo. It's bad on um, Bing, it's bad on Yelp, it's bad on Foursquare, all these other different sites. So they're not going to list you. So you got to make sure your business information is accurately listed on every one of these websites that are out there. And when that's done, Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and these other websites that I'm telling you, I'm gonna, you know, I share with you um, in the 7stepseo.com uh, members area, they're going to be like, bet, I got accurate information from them, I will list them when someone searches for a business like theirs on my search results. And that's key. So these are the seven steps. Um, once again, if you're not getting enough leads um, right now, I, I will totally recommend that you actually go through these seven steps. Go to 7stepseo.com. Type in your um, your name and your email address. And if you want, if you have a website, provide me with your website address. And that will allow me to go ahead and look at your website and go through the seven-step checklist that I'm also providing you in the membership area uh, for you. I'll give you my comments. i email it to you. And we can actually see if it matches up. All right, and let's go from there. That's all I have for you guys today. Now let me try to go to the board. So I got any comments here? Let's see. Excuse if I fade out. All right. Okay. I'm not sure I don't see any comments, but uh, if you have a comment, feel free to leave it out. Leave it here on Twitter. I think I'm shooting live here on Periscope. So you guys, if you watch this video, you have any questions. Um, I recommend you actually just go to 7 You can leave comments in there. I can answer your questions. 
Um, but if you want to leave this question right here on Periscope on Twitter, I do monitor it, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it, like it, forward it, do whatever you want to do, tell people about it. I'm looking forward to helping as many people as I possibly can. I believe the entrepreneurs, the reason why I'm in business because entrepreneurs, I believe, are truly um, are the growth of our economy. And if I can help as many entrepreneurs as I can become successful, provide uh, food for their families, you know, provide um, uh, charitable giving, make the community better, then I'm doing my part in this great, great society that we have. And I think that's also going to help our future, our children, down the long run. So that's why I'm here to help you. That's why I'm giving you seven steps SEO, these seven steps for free. Go try it out. Hopefully you can implement these things you need any help implementing. You know where to contact me and I give you my information inside uh, 7 stepseocom You also try to reach out to me here on Periscope and on Twitter. I'm also on Facebook and you also can find me on YouTube and you also can find me on LinkedIn as well. So thank you so much. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. Take care now. Bye.